Hello, my amazing artists. Welcome back to Art With Me, Mrs. Knowles. We're gonna be creating something called an optical illusion today. You can sort of see part of mine. We're gonna use line and shape to create this optical illusion. And in art, optical illusions are sometimes called op art. So op art, is op is short for optical so that's your eyes right like when you get your eyes checked you go to the optoma optometrist optometrist um, and this is a style of art that began in the 1960s and if you were in my classroom we probably just talked about the artist whose name is bridget riley she's a really cool artist um, and she is an op artist all right so let's get started all right, so here is my optical illusion a little bit closer. You can see I only use two colors and we're also gonna use shapes and lines. So let's get started. All right, what you're gonna need is a piece of paper. I'm using a large piece of paper, but if all you have is a small one, that's fine. You're going to need a ruler and a pencil, maybe an eraser, I'm not sure, a Sharpie, and then something to color with. People in my class, we are gonna use paint. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do is you are gonna choose a shape and repeat that shape about 10 times all over your paper. Um, I am just gonna go ahead and use a Sharpie. If you wanna use a pencil first and then trace it with Sharpie, that's fine. So choose your shape. I'm gonna do a circle. And you wanna do it about 10 times. You wanna have some big, some small. You can overlap them like that. You could put some inside. You could even do a very small one like that. So how many do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Nine, 10, I think I'm gonna do one right here. 11, one down here, 12. So that's why I said about 10, cause you might wanna do more or maybe you fill up the space. Okay, now you're gonna need your ruler. You're gonna take your ruler, put it down on the paper all the way at the edge of the paper. Remember when you use a ruler, you gotta hold it with one hand and then I'm just gonna make a line going all the way across. And it's okay if you run into your shapes, that's what you want it to do. So then I'm gonna line up my ruler with the first line that I made. And do it again. And you're gonna keep going until you get all the way to the other side of your paper. So now for my students who are in class with me, we are going to use some watercolor paints to paint this. If you are at home and you don't have any watercolor paints, you could use crayons, markers, whatever you want to color. Now, I'm gonna have to choose two colors for this. I know, sometimes that's a really hard choice. So I think that I'm going to do this red-orange color with a blue violet color. Let's see what happens. Okay, so you're just gonna choose one of the sides to start on. I'm gonna start on my right side and one of your colors to start with. When I'm using watercolor, I add a drop of water to it and then I gently stir it. Remember when you're holding your paintbrush, just like that, right above the metal part or right on the little finger grip. And then I'm just going to gently start to move the paint. Now, like I said, we're only using two colors for this, but you're gonna have to pay attention to where you put the colors. Now this line is really easy because I'm painting this whole thing blue, the blue violet because I don't have any shapes coming into the line. So for my next line, it's gonna be a little bit trickier. It's gonna be opposite of my line before it. So since that, this one is the blue-violet, 
The next one is going to be the red orange. So I'm just gonna wash my paintbrush. All right, so the next line is gonna be with the red orange. I'm gonna add a drop of water. Gently stir. And then start to paint. Wow, that looks pretty orange. I don't know about red orange. A great way to make uh, your painting pop is to use colors that are complementary colors. Do you remember which colors are complementary? Those are the colors that are opposite on the color wheel. So orange and blue are opposite on the color wheel. So they would really make your painting pop. Yellow and violet are opposite, or purple, same thing. And red and green are opposite. So if you really wanna give your eyes a workout in this optical illusion, you'll also use complementary colors. Do you notice that I'm ignoring the shapes that are there and I'm just painting the line? And that's because we're gonna change the color of the shape to be blue. So my shape is opposite. Whatever the line color is, the shape is always gonna be the opposite color. So that means this shape would be blue and this shape would be blue. And then when I go to the, my next line, as you go down across the paper, it's a pattern. It goes blue, orange, blue, orange, blue, orange, blue, orange, all the way across. And then when you go down this way, it's the same thing. It's just that you're including the shapes with it. So like this shape is blue and this shape is blue because it's part of the orange line. So since it's a pattern and it goes blue, orange, blue, orange, blue, orange, that means my next line is gonna be blue, right? So this part, now again, when I get to the shape, I'm gonna stop. I'm just gonna go jump over the shape. So this part would be blue. Oh look, I've got a little tricky part. What about this little tiny part right there? Well, since, it, since this part would be touching the orange circle, that's also gonna be blue. So this is blue. And I would, I would skip that part of the circle and this part would be blue. And so this circle would be orange, this circle would be orange. Do you see the pattern that's happening? So it's a pattern going this way, blue, orange, blue, orange, blue, and it's a pattern going the other way too. All right, I'm gonna keep painting. a lot of painting huh now did you notice that after I showed you how to do the two different colors I switched to just doing all blue going across so I did all my blue first and then I went back and I filled in the orange and the reason I did that is because watercolors are very watery right and they like to bleed into other spaces so I let them dry a few minutes before I went back and added another color and that helps to keep it inside the area that you want it to be in. All right. Well, I hope you guys had fun making your optical illusion and I'm really excited to see what colors you chose to use and what shapes you chose. So make sure you send me a picture when you're done so that I can see it. Okay, I'll see y'all later.
Bye-bye.